So for every month that goes by, the SAT is changing, it's evolving, and it's getting harder and harder every single month. Which means it's only going to get harder and harder for you to hit 700 plus or hit whatever your target score is. And that's exactly what we're going to go over in this video, how to properly study for the SAT as the SAT gets harder as time goes by. And what I mean by that is if you study for it properly, then you are going to be future proof, meaning no matter how much SAT changes, no matter how much it evolves and how much it gets harder, you are still going to be able to solve every single one of these questions and get to your target score. This is the exact same method I have used with my private tutoring students in the past and what I'm doing with my current students inside SAT Math Accelerator. And this thing works just every single time. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to lay it out in three simple steps. I'm going to give you a big picture. I'm going to give you a bird's eye overview, which is going to be a summary on how to properly study for the SAT. Then for each of these steps, I'm also going to link you to a video that will explain each of these steps in very, very big details. And as always, I'm going to wrap this video up in about five minutes. And if you can't stay focused for the next five minutes, that's the exact reason why you're going to waste next 500 hours, five weeks, five months trying to raise your SAT score, but not seeing any improvements. So stick around for the next five minutes. It's going to save you a lot of time. So if you're ready to get started, go ahead and smash the like button and let's get started with today's video. So when it comes to SAT prep, what you have to understand is that SAT is an exam that is designed a very, very specific way. And it's pretty similar to buying a piece of furniture from Ikea and trying to piecing it all together. If you try to figure it out all yourself and try to piece it together on your own, it's going to take a long time. But if you look at the manual and just follow the simple steps and understand how to piece these things together, it's going to be so much quicker. And that's why on the SAT, you have to understand what kind of exam the SAT is, how it's designed, how it's structured, and what the purpose of the SAT is. And by understanding these three things, the design, the structure, and the purpose of the SAT, you're going to know exactly how to approach the SAT and study for it as efficiently as possible and get to your target score as quickly as possible without wasting any time. Unfortunately, most people, like 99% of the students, what they do is they just do monkey see, monkey do. They just copy whatever everybody else is doing to prepare for the SAT. And if you do what everybody else does, you're going to get the result that everybody else gets. And not everyone gets 700 plus. In order for you to get a different score, you have to do something different. And that key factor is you understanding the structure, design, and the purpose of the SAT, which is going to be linked in the pinned comment below. So that's going to be the first step. What is the second step? Well, once you understand the structure, design, and the purpose of the SAT, you're going to get an idea of, oh, that's what the SAT is. That's the purpose of the SAT, and I probably should study it a certain way. You kind of start to get an idea on how to study for the SAT, but the problem is you don't really have a plan. I mean, yeah, you could get your own plan, create your own plan and try to stick to it. But the problem is you have no idea if this plan is any good and if this plan is going to work at all. And that's completely normal because you have never studied for the SAT before. It's your first time in your life studying for the SAT and it's obvious you're not going to know exactly how to do it right. That's why in the second video, I'm going to show you a solid SAT studying plan. It's the exact same plan I have used with my private tutoring students, and it's been working for past nine, 10 years. Not only is the plan proven efficient, but by using this plan alone, students have been seeing nice big jumps in their SAT math score, like 100 plus point increase, 120 plus point increase. It just works. If you've been studying for the SAT for a while, but haven't been seeing some great results, then this study plan is going to be a good place for you to start and start seeing nice improvements. And some of you guys might be wondering, John, do I really need a study plan to study for the SAT? I mean, it's just an exam. Can I just like not wing it? Well, the problem is if you are studying without a plan, what's going to happen is you're going to end up as a leaf in the wind. And what I mean by that is you're not going to be able to stay focused. Because let's say you are doing one thing and it's just not working and you see your friend doing something else and that friend is seeing some nice results. You're going to ditch whatever you're doing right now and jump on to whatever your friend is doing. And if that's not working and you see something else, you're going to keep on jumping to that one and that one and that one. It's going to be a repetition. You're not going to see any improvements. What you have to realize is that the key to raising your SAT score is being consistent with just one plan. Because how the SAT scores actually go up is that it goes up like a exponential curve. It's going to be flatlining in the beginning. You're not going to see any improvements. And at certain point, it's going to click and you're going to see a big, big jump. 
And in order for you to see that nice jump, you're gonna have to stay focused and be consistent for that flat line period. And in order for you to stay focused and be consistent and have faith that you are doing everything right, you are going to need a solid plan, a plan that you know will work and is pointing you to the right direction. Giving you the confidence that, oh, if I just stick out for this period, I'm going to see a nice big jump right there. And that plan that's been proven to work and to give you the confidence that you are doing everything right, that exact plan is going to be linked in the second video in the pinned comment down below. So now that you have understood the structure of the SAT, and now that you have a solid plan that it's proven to work, what's the third step going to be? The third step is for you to just simply put in the work. Because what the first two steps have done is that it's literally spoon feeding you all the steps and all the shortcuts that are necessary for you to hit 700 plus or whatever your target score is on the math section. And all you have to do is just take it in, chew it and swallow it. That's all you have to do. If you do that, you're going to be on your way to your target score. But the problem is 95% of the people that watch this video, they're going to take it in, but they're going to refuse to chew it. They're not willing to put in the work. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to chew it. They're literally looking for someone else to chew the information for them. They're literally looking for ways to raise their SAT score without studying. And, and the harsh reality is that no matter how good your tutor is, or no matter what kind of materials you're studying with, if you don't put in the minimal effort, your score is not going to go up. And the purpose of all of these videos that I post on my YouTube channel is for the 5%, that 5%. So what are these three steps to go from 400 to 700 plus on the math section? The first step is for you to understand the structure and the purpose of the SAT. And second, you have to get yourself a nice little plan that's been proven to work and that is efficient. And the third and the last step, all you have to do is just put in the work, follow through on the study plan, and you're going to see some nice improvements on your next SAT. So if you have found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more of these videos that will help you raise your SAT score, then consider subscribing to the channel for weekly videos. So that's going to be it. Let's keep on grinding. Let's keep on working. And let's see some good results on your next SAT. So see you in the next one.